the Fortnite storyline is about to kick into overdrive and we're about to see tons of map changes. Stay tuned. What's up my friends and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. Today's date is 3-30-2021 and today we have for you guys our Dylan Easy Fresh. Now today, like I said before guys, in the intro of this video, uh, it's actually kind of a special day. There's a lot of brand new map changes now upcoming and current stuff in the game right now that is teased for future storyline changes. So uh, before we actually get started to all that stuff, make sure you guys are in fact subscribed with the bell notification on. YouTube has been doing a lot of updates including trying to get rid of the dislike button. So not only that, they're actually cleaning out subscribers, so make sure you guys still are subscribed right now. And if you guys actually choose to be so, I am hosting a giveaway for the very first time in quite some time now, where I'll be giving away a few battle passes and skins, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and without further ado, let's get into our first Fortnite topic. Alright guys, so first things up is actually a massive update for Fortnite Switch. So, uh, Fortnite game just said this today. For all of our Nintendo Switch players, we will be releasing an update that will enhance your experience on the platform improved resolution, consistent frame rate, smaller game size, and of course here's the full article in the background video. GPU performance and resolution boost for Fortnite on Nintendo Switch by the Fortnite team. Beginning on March 30th, 2021, we're releasing an update to enhance our player experience for Nintendo Switch players. Specifically, we're upgrading the renderer on the Nintendo Switch to make better use of the console's GPU. Resolution and GPU performance, what to expect. So what does this mean for Switch players? The update provides significantly improved resolution both in handheld and docked modes, resulting in images that are less blurry without loss of performance. The update also provides a more consistent frame rate with fewer hitches, resulting in a smoother experience overall. Resolution, handheld, and docked modes. Fortnite on Switch will still use dynamic resolution when needed to ensure a consistent frame rate, but this will occur less frequently and overall resolution will be significantly higher. So it says expected resolutions on handheld, 1000 by 560 before, and now it's at 1170 by 660. And for the docked version, 1390 by 780, all the way up to 1560 by 880. So that's actually overall a 38% increase in pixels in handheld mode. So that's actually quite the difference, and I hope that people on Switch uh, can now actually experience Fortnite in the way they're actually supposed to, uh, sort of just like mobile, and of course simply like PC and uh, the console version. So yeah, awesome stuff right there. Last but not least, they also said this, check out these screenshots below to see how the game's visuals look before and after the brand new update. Additionally speaking, Switch players are going to save about 140 megabytes of storage space with the new update. Grab your Switch, play in handheld or docked modes, and keep the victory rails coming. Alright, so there you guys have it, a massive update for Fortnite Switch. Into our next Fortnite topic coming directly from Mikey over on Twitter. It looks like he just figured out a brand new method that actually uses the pump shotgun and the dub, which of course was just added today. So the pump shotgun and the dub are essentially the new double pump method. Definitely pretty cool. I'm just curious what you guys think about this down below, so here's that clip. All right, and as a friendly reminder, I actually post on TikTok every single day, so make sure you guys check that out in the first link in the description down below. And to our next Fortnite topic coming directly from Hypex, he said this today. There's a new sheriff office near Lazy Lake, and it's related to some fortified POIs, including Pleasant, which is why it's closed now. The next POIs are Retail, Misty, and Sweaty, but I'm not sure when. Probably a storyline buildup. Alright, so lots of storyline buildups are now in the works in a V16.10 update that just took place today. So fortified point of interest are actually, well, just simply self-explanatory. They are essentially like upgraded to be fortified or upgraded to be, uh, I guess, stronger buildings. So stuff on the windows, stuff on the doors, and to make it so people can't really get in or other things cannot really get in. So. These fortified point of interest are also seen over, I believe, at Pleasant. So around the actual point of interest of Pleasant, we can actually also see what appears to be some sort of barriers now being put up. So 
Uh, I kind of theorized in my first video today that this could be for the Raptors, but I do believe it's actually a storyline build up for something else just like Hypex. Now to add to the storyline details coming directly from Fortory, he said this today. I believe this is the device with the message from Agent Jones. I found something for you, a straight device with some sort of message on it. I think, said Tarana. And of course, here's that strange message from Agent Jones. Alright, so it says, listen to the crystal song. And these are actually for the Spire Quest, so not really sure what's going on with this, but again, some weird storyline details have now been found. Now, to add to all this stuff, we also have this mysterious pack inside the files. It seems like the new encrypted set doesn't have a skin, since the encrypted pack file for it does not have HD textures, which are always used for skins. So right now, I have no idea what it could be used for, but knowing Fortnite, it could just be another TikTok emote. Alright, so another mystery, and another mystery to top things off, is also this coming directly from Frenzy, which is actually a pretty big find. Pleasant might turn primal soon. The construction nearby hints at changes. A visual glitch as seen below shows it's a bit orangish, which could be due to it turning primal soon. We could also see the primal area expanding in general, maybe not only towards here. Alright, so this actually might make a lot of sense over at Pleasant Park, and why we're seeing bears now going up across P Pleasant Park, and I guess around the Point of Interest, so it could actually be because uh, the actual Point of Interest is turning primal. And then Autumn looks to the map, which of course is like orange and yellow, might be expanding to different points of interest. And we also might be seeing that as far as uh, the actual fortified point of interest as well, or locations. So pretty crazy stuff right there. Definitely curious uh, to see what you guys think about all this stuff down below. It's actually very strange. And last but not least for this subject, an unreleased NPC with the ID Pluto. There's no other info about this NPC, so it's probably either for the end of the season or next season. All right, so lots of mysteries in this video. Uh, coming directly from Hypex, he also said this today. Unstable both sounds. It only has four files. So far, two gameplay cue notifiers, glitch in and out, and there are two effects. And it seems like it will most likely glitch the screen out of the player that got hit by it, plus damage them. And here's that sound effects in the background video. All right, so the unstable bow sounds very, very overpowered. Uh, I'm definitely curious, what do you guys think about it down below? And now for our final Fortnite topic, it is actually coming directly from Hypex, uh, who said this today. All the new golden, Corimium, and Rudic styles in-game and how to unlock them. So I'm going to leave you guys with that gameplay, as we're probably over 10 minutes now, so sorry about the longer video, but a lot of stuff, it was a, a lot of important stuff was actually featured in today's video. So stay tuned for the next upcoming video, and I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's Dead Easy Fresh. Enjoy.